Hey, good morning. Today's adventure consists of the very first trip to Bird Creek this summer. Yes, we're on our way to Bird Creek right now on this adventure. It's not just me. It is not just me fishing. It's not just me going. Hopefully, the silvers are running thick enough in Bird Creek for you to see the best footage so far this summer. The best silver footage because when we all go, we all catch. But check this out. One dollar per gallon savings here at Cars. Woo woo! Hello. We're at Bird Creek and can you see behind me? It's high. And there's some flowers. Our family beat us here, but we beat Uncle Doug and Papa. Oh, much better. I have to go back. <laughs> but we're going to get down there soon with them. And bye! We're here. We made it to Bird Creek. And anyone who has any experience, anyone who knows what it's like fishing here at Bird Creek, you need boots because there's mud. There's mud here and there's mud at Ship Creek. Ship Creek is probably worse. But still, there's some mud here. And guess what I forgot? But luckily my husband's on the way to rescue me. And thankfully my boots just got here because my Superman, my superhero, always coming to my rescue, always saving me, always. Thank you, baby, I love you. Now I don't have to go down in the mud in these. I'm so Oil. And the net, tackle box, ready, let's go fishing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that requires a pole too, I suppose. Let's get a fishing pole. Fishing pole. Uh huh, the long walk down. Oh, dang. Remember that one day we had 16 silvers? We had to carry 16 silvers back uphill all the way to the parking lot. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't care. I don't care. It is the most beautiful heavy haul I have ever taken part in. <laughs> Look at all the pretty flowers. Clover flowers are edible. Those big round ones. You could eat those. They're real sweet. How do you know? Because I've ate them. <laughs> Papa eats them too. Really? Yeah? Pa Papa's the one that taught me. Mom? Huh. No. Yeah, whenever we see one of those, it's a bad day. The fish don't bite if one of those seals comes in the water. Uh-oh, look. Seal. I don't know where the seal go. Gotta go under. So as cool as they are to see, we don't want to see one here. Because then that means game over. Fishing's done. I was just saying, those, you see the white and red ones? You don't eat those ones. Those ones, the pretty purple ones, those are the good ones to eat. Looks like a gnome sign. <laughs> <laughs> 101.5 that's what mile it is 101.5 my favorite mile on the seward highway we're gonna go across the walking bridge get a beautiful view of everything over here and there she is oh baby i'm home oh honey i'm home you girls got it slow it take your time kids. hey Oh, I hear Emmy. Hi, She's fine. Hi, Emmy. She's freaking out. Hi, Emmy. You can walk on the grass, though. Remember here, let me go first. So I push the grass down for you a little bit. But if you walk on the grass, then you're not in as much mud. Making it okay? Yeah. You're in pajamas? 
Yeah, so she stays warm. Huh? Oh, nice. Oh, hold it up. Pretty. And you've got two? I got one. Oh, you got one? Hi, is that real? Uh, hand me that pole. I'll take the pole. Oh, I the hook is right there. Okay, I got this. We're moving. You gotta keep walking. Hi, Dad. Oh, yucky mud. All this sh is getting heavy. My arm is getting tired. Is he young with you? Oh, yeah, he brought boots. Oh, nice. Otherwise, I would have been down here in flip-flops because I didn't grab boots for myself. He came to my rescue. Okay, I've got uh, two skeins of bait that I just caught yesterday in there, and uh, I brought shrimp. Oh, there went my bait. I don't think I had anything left on there. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I don't see nothing. Dad's got another one. Probably another pink. No, I'm, I have the camera going. I just wanted to get closer. Oh. <laughs> Periodically throughout the video, you will see us moving up or downstream. And that's because we're following the tide. As the tide comes in and the water gets higher and slower, you follow it in because the fish are coming with it. And then when the tide is going back out and the water is getting lower and faster, again, you follow the tide out because some of the fish are going back out with it. So the key to fishing a tidal fishery is to follow the tide. Wherever the water is going, that's where you should be going if you want the best success at one of these streams. Fish on. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I had too much slack. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I knew I wasn't ready when I saw it go under. Come on, be there. Come on, be there. I'm ready this time. <laughs> Pitch on! Yeah! Always get them right here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on. Yeah. He's not done. Oh, he's not done. Oh, please be a she. <laughs> I hope so. Let's see. Yep. Get him away from the water. Done. Smoked. Biggest fish of the year now. Go get some more. And now what I'd like to show you here is my dad, my wonderful dad. He is helping to move all of our stuff upstream. And he found Rowan's boot in the process. But he's helping to move all of the gear upstream because we're following the tide in. Except for a second, I thought I had a bite. <gasps> it's just one of the many things that he loves to do. He loves to let us fish. 
it brings him great joy to see his kids and grandkids fishing. And we are forever thankful for such an awesome dad and grandpa. Fish on? Hey! I gotta come see. I gotta come see. But she's got a bobber. So it's a silver. Where's the net? I know, that's why I'm running for the net. No, she's like, no, I am not coming to the net. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty. Beautiful. <laughs> How many is that? Huh? Um, four. You. Um, me now. Nice. <laughs> Adrenaline rush. Yeah, it's like <sighs> time to breathe. Catch your breath. Ooh. Let's see what time is it? Ten forty seven. Dang, we still got like another hour of incoming. You guys realize that? We still have like another hour of incoming. We're killing it. <laughs> I'm not used to this many on the bank, period, on the incoming. Uh huh. Yeah, we know what we're doing. Nice. Mine is whose orange bucket is that over there? That fish is over there. I don't want it over there then. Oh, hello, handsome. Mine's a little bit. That's okay. There's more. Mine wasn't terribly fun because I caught mine like four feet off the edge. It just didn't want to come in. Get it up like. I'm like right here. Hey, we're gonna go soon. We are not gonna go soon. <laughs> we're gonna be here all day. Yeah. Nowhere near soon. We're just getting started. And I thought when we were growing up fishing this creek that those were the days. Like, it's a whole other element having three generations here. <laughs> I think it's a chum. Yep. What a monster. He was playing with it for a while before it went under. Oh, girls. You saw the chum. Yeah. But we're only getting silver, so we're we'll letting him go. Yeah, I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna let him go. Go ahead. Come on. Okay, then I'm gonna let it go. See, the Ooh. limit is only three salmon per day per person, and I would much rather keep silvers, so the chum go back. Bye bye! That was fun. Fish on, yes, it is a silver. On the smaller side, but it's a silver. Woo! Hang on, my right foot is stuck. Oh, not that bad. I thought it was worse. Two dead. 
down, one to go. I knew it was a silver one. I seen that bobber go sideways in the water. <laughs> I almost wasn't ready. I questioned whether I had it hooked good. Huh? Oh, look, Papa's getting. Papa's getting. You want to try? Say, Papa, can I do that? Go ahead, go over here. Looks like a female. Hopefully. You got a wacky? You should pull up here. Use this. Right here. Yeah, use the stick. Whack him on the head. Put the rock down. And whack, whack him on the head. head. <laughs> She's scared. Don't the on the head. Go, come the on, head. get over here. Hit the head. Hey, hey, like this. Here at Bird Creek, if you don't stay by your spot after you catch a fish, then someone takes it real quick. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a silver. It's right. It's okay. The excitement's just starting. Two hours later. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No way. It looked bright. That's a silver. Big ass silver, Dad. It ain't no chum. I think the 360 died, so I pulled my phone out. I'm not missing this. Yeah, the current is strong and he's big. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Net the fish because I don't want to make that lose it. You gotta hold this too then. Well, two silvers were already on the bank by the time I showed up, and then we caught five on camera. So the only silver that we didn't get footage of was Tom's second. That's a silver. Yes, it is. It's a big silver. As you saw, this one is Dad's. This is who I learned to fish from. Oh yeah. Nice. So, we're at Bird Creek, and look what we got. Rowan! If there ain't, if there's nothing else, it will still work. It'll just come <laughs> There's Emmy! No? Emmy, 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 Emmy! Oh, she's playing Super Kitty. If you have watched Super Kitty, please. Like, that's all our stuff over there. There's Papa, Doug, Rowan. There's Mommy with our fish. I'm recording you with your fish, your beautiful, beautiful fish. My third and final one. <laughs> Let Ron touch it. Do you want Ron to touch it? 
Rowan wanted to, yeah. We have it on the that side. That side. Yeah. Can I touch it now? Yeah, you can touch it now. Can I touch it now? Yeah, I you can touch, touch it. it. Oh! Oh, cold. Beautiful, huh? Oh. Yeah. Go let Rowan touch it. She's still bleeding. Look at all the blood dripping. Ah. She's a nice thick one. Looks like she escaped a net once. Go let Rowan touch it. She's got, I think, old net scars on her. Ah. Started to get windy. Uh, our pot, uh, set net somewhere. Yeah, escaped the net, or maybe she was super little when they let her go. Cause those look, that looks really healed and old. Yeah. Mom, let Rowan touch it. Oh yeah. Oh boy, Rowan, I cleaned her just for you. <laughs> look at that pretty fish. You like the fish? <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, I'm all done. Oh. See that moves and he's like, ah, ah. so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> you whacked you. You caught me with one two. Oh, I almost fell. <laughs> um, let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, eight. So, bye -bye. It's pretty freaking handy when your baby carrier doubles as your fish carrier. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my God, my sweater covered in mud. <laughs> oh well, I'm not wearing it anymore today. Everything's covered. <laughs> you gotta show dad. <laughs> hey, dad. Look at I his baby carrier. One. Oh, you did? Oh. Yeah, my second one's way smaller. Y yeah, you I ever seen a baby carrier carry eight salmon? <laughs> yeah. Turn. About okay. the same as ours? Or yeah. about the same as yours? <laughs> fish heads with the fish heads. Hey, Emmy, who's the boss? <laughs> oh, right. Yes, ma'am, you are. <laughs> the sh we go through for fish. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, Rowan's passing out. <laughs> Too cute. Yeah, they're coming. I can grab that box too after I put my phone down. Even after all that, we're still coming back tomorrow. When I first got into view up here, there was a whole crowd of people on the walking bridge. I seriously thought they were waiting for us. But then they scattered, and so it's like, okay, maybe it won't be so bad. And there is what she looks like when the tide has gone back out. Fishing is over until the next one. My fingers are too hot. Emberly, little Miss Boss, you look like you spent the day at Bird Creek. Uh huh. She's in pajamas too. Well, because it was chilly all morning. We were in the shade all morning, remember? I miss the shade. Yeah, I do too. I'm thirsting on my back. Waterfall. I don't know my Yep, to the waterfall. Remember, I'm with us. My boots, my yeah. yeah, I gotta wash them off. That's what we stop here for. We stop here at the waterfall to clean our boots and the fish. Oh,
See, I told you, we all catch.